Hello, this is Carla from McNeil Europe Tech Support and Training. This video is about Rhino 6 licensing options. I will explain the three methods to license Rhino, their benefits, and also the requirements for each. So let's go to our validation window and let's explore them. Whether you have a commercial, educational, or evaluation license, once you've installed Rhino, the following validation window will appear. The first and new option is Login. We now have a cloud-based license management system that allows you to use Rhino by logging into the Cloud Zoo using your Rhino account. The requirements are a Rhino 6 license, a Rhino account, and internet connection. If you haven't done so, you can create a new account or choose one of the options to sign in. In my case, I will choose the Google option. And it will proceed to log in to my Rhino account. The main benefits are you no longer need to memorize your license keys. You can use Rhino on multiple machines as long as you obey the license agreement. And finally, Rhino will keep working without connection. So set that, let's go to explore the two others. The second option is enter your license key. The single computer licensing method will lock a license directly to a specific computer. If I click here, the only requirement is a Rhino 6 license. At this point, you'll get two options. Add to your Rhino account or use only on this computer. I'll choose use only on this computer and I will confirm. I will enter the email associated to my license and proceed with the registration. The main benefit is the possibility to work offline and not depending on an internet connection, except for updates. You can also use this option with an expired evaluation license as a file viewer or to continue to learn Rhino without saving and plugins. So, finally, let's go and see the third option. The third and last option is the Zoo. The Zoo is a free server software that runs inside a private network. It lets you share or float the licenses of Rhino and Rhino-based products among users on that same network. You can detect the Zoo server automatically or you can enter the IP or host name. You can check the requirements on the following website wiki.magneil.com slash Zoo slash home that will also be on the description of this video. On this page, you'll find the system requirements listed. And the link to download the Zoo. The main benefits of this method are, it doesn't require internet access. You can have a mix of Rhino 5 and Rhino 6 licenses you don't need to enter license key on each individual system and you can check out the licenses to disconnect from that network. So set that, let's go to see the last two links and how to change the licensing option. If your evaluation license has expired, you can go to via license or if you need more information, you can click on help me decide. You can always change the licensing option by going back to Rhino, Preferences, Licenses, 
and change your license key. All options will appear again. Finally, don't forget to read our end user license agreement that will appear on the description of this video. So this was all. Thanks for watching and until the next one.